She's made 14 films in five different languages. Clear the old glasses, you know, some dandruff on there. She's a reality star, TikTok famous, and has 50 TV commercials under her name. She's also acted alongside the likes of Salman Khan. Yes, indeed, it is the actress known as Sana Khan. Yes, that's right, and she managed to shock the entire showbiz industry by announcing this week on Instagram that she is giving it all up, mate. That's right, all of it. She's giving it up to pursue her relationship with her creator. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a very special and very beneficial episode might I add of Smile to Jannah. So we are trying to study all the time and study the time and the whole time and the whole time. I think I'm a bit overacting there. Here on Smile to Jannah, we're not just going to look on the surface of this matter and just mention a few points. We're going to do what Rafiki from Lion King asked us to do, which is... Look hard. Two very important ayahs should be held very close and dear to us because they will inshallah, God willing, shape our reality. And one ayah, of course, or one verse of the Quran is that if a person does not turn towards Allah, does not remember Allah, then unfortunately for them is a depressed life. Now if we use this as a yardstick, yeah, you see all the people that maybe to you and the social media claim to be happy, but I think we have enough case studies that have told us that, you know, it's clearly acting, it's fake. You don't know what is happening behind, do not follow that, follow what is right, what is correct. It's like a car. Yeah, that's not really, the ignition hasn't been switched on and people are pushing it. It might be able to go maybe 30 seconds, 40 seconds, but eventually it's going to come to a stop because the actual fuel that's needed to power it is not present. So similarly, remembrance of Allah is our fuel. Yes, it's our fuel. And Allah tells us in another place in the Quran, that it is only in his remembrance do our hearts find satisfaction. Already we can somewhat understand why Sana has picked this life over that life of the glamour and the glitz and the fame and ching ching. But when it comes to us, I'm sure you and me, we can relate to our routines being something that makes us very comfortable and idle. Yeah. In fact, some psychologists even say that after the age of 25 and 30, it's very difficult for a person to change because psychologically they're pretty much stuck in their ways. So they continue to mention that there are two ways that a person can change beyond that age. And number one, it's through constant reaffirmations. That's why all these self-help books, they tell you when you get up in the morning, say, it's gonna be a good day. I can do this. I will do this. Because those things actually work. Yeah. And if you guys think about it, du'as, yeah, they are pretty much affirmations. Yeah. You get up in the morning and you say, Alhamdulillah, you know, all praise be to Allah who has given us life after death. Yeah, and we constantly do this when we leave the house, when we enter the house, when we're doing wudu. And the other thing, of course, is trauma. Yes, trauma has the power to change, our, well, to change us completely. The two main types are death of a loved one and, of course, hanji, <laughs> heartbreak. Why am I mentioning all this? Because earlier this year, Sana broke up with her partner Melvin and it was a very public breakup as well. Which involved infidelity and physical abuse as well. And I have those pictures of he hitting me and I had broken my head and there are bruises on my face which I have. I'll show you the picture post the interview which I have still not posted. She was of course mentally affected by this and then she started popping sleeping pills. Unfortunately, I was on sleeping tablets. I will not recommend that to anybody. And I think the day I stopped it was the day my mom got to know about it. Then I started, you know, reciting more and more and more. And that's how I started getting more sleep. And uh, I was like, 
आपको मैंने बोला था ना कि मैंने लाइफ में कभी नहीं सोचा था कि मैं अल्लाह से नींद आ जाए उसके लिए दुआ करूंगी नाउ इट शुड बी नोटेड दैट सना डिड हैव ए कनेक्शन विद इस्लाम बिफोर एज वेल आई गॉट फाइनलाइज्ड फॉर आईआरई बट एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम फॉर्चूनेटली और अनफॉर्चूनेट आई वोंट से अनफॉर्चूनेटली बट आई वाज गोइंग फॉर माय होली पिलग्रिमेज यू नो व्हिच आई गो एवरी ईयर टू मक्का मदीना फॉर ड्यूरिंग रमजान एंड आई वाज लाइक आई कैन नॉट अनफॉर्चूनेटली कैंसिल दैट एंड आई लेफ्ट दैट बट शी कंटिन्यूड ऑन विद द शोबेस लाइफस्टाइल अलोंगसाइड her adherence to the faith but who knows maybe she came to a realization that what on earth am i doing in this fake industry and lifestyle aur jab main industry mein hu mujhe pata hai industry aisi hai har cheez fake hai mera to itna but you don't know what their personal life is at home like at least i being a part of it i know a lot of things how people are like living their own lives and not to mention having positive friends around her that could also guide her during her tough times mere doston ne mujhe 3 3 ghanta counsel kiya hai roz alag alag logon ne main pura din puri raat unse baat karti thi i couldn't sleep even for 1 minute i can't sleep even after pills i can't sleep yeah and she emerged a stronger woman after this whole ordeal and then started helping others as well kaun ka relationship toota aur bahut hi kharab tarike se but what i respect is aap depression ke bare mein aapne baat kiya aapne doston se baat kiya and today you're in a position where you're talking about all these things from the heart without doing anything wrong to yourself as well you know yes so i thought it's very important why i feel there is no matter in this world that is bigger than your life like god has given you this life things are going to go bad but things are going to get better but if the life Mira. is gone how are you going to correct it and let's not forget her instagram post in which she mentions two main things that helped her come to this realization number one just questions about her purpose and number 2 the inevitable yeah death and these two points cannot be answered and this void cannot be filled by any ism and schism that we know other than the creator i mean i've read loads of self help books yeah they they're really brilliant yeah i've got to give credit where credit is due but when it comes to purpose as where they fall short because you know It doesn't matter if you are a rapper, yeah, you're an actress or you're a politician or whoever. Yeah, after you're on stage and you've done that and you get into your car and you look out the window, that moment where you're by yourself, how can you not wonder, what am I doing here? <laughs> What's going to happen when these eyes close and this heart stops beating? Yeah, no matter who you are watching, yeah, you've gone through this moment. It may just be on the train ride to work, yeah, or just walking to the shops buying some milk, and you just look up and you're like, "Boy, there is gonna come a time where I'm just gonna stop existing." I wonder how that's gonna feel. Yeah, because I'm so used to existing, I don't know how it feels not to exist. As somebody who lives in London. is handsome and who can talk his way out of a tight spot come on guys if success lied anywhere else i wouldn't be sitting here you know talking about the afterlife i wouldn't be day in day out teaching kids multiplication division and spelling punctuation grammar you know what i'm saying and if someone like me living in one of the biggest capital cities on the planet and someone like sana khan that is able to You know, pick Islam over that lifestyle. Shouldn't that say something to you? After this video finishes, I want you to raise your hands. That's right. I want you to raise your hands and just talk to Allah and just say what's in your heart. Allah, I don't know. I don't trust these people. They're constantly giving me negativity, but I know you're real. I know you're real. I'm weak. Yeah, I'm at a job in which, you know, all this stuff is happening or my friends are like this, but Allah, I know you are haq. Allah, I know there is a day of judgment and Allah, I am weak. Please help me. I can't do this without your help. And just this honesty and sincerity, you'll see how this honesty is your first step 